success is all about action. It's a, it's a verb. It's a doing verb, right? So if you want to be successful, it's about taking what action? The right positive, correct. The positive, the right positive action. So think about it. What I want you to think about. Imagine the most massive tree you can think of in your life. I mean, what do they call them here in South Africa? The baobab trees. Those are girl guards. They've got trees in the States that are called redwoods. Have you ever seen one? It's massive. I've seen a photograph of 15 people standing around like this, and they're, they're literally holding arm to arm, and they're going backwards around the tree this way. So it's that big. It's 60 meters high. So imagine a tree that big. If I gave you a sharp axe, and I said to you every single day, walk outside and chop that tree five times with purpose, could you eventually chop that massive tree down? Okay, the tree you could chop it down eventually. But imagine if I gave you, and we did exact, took exactly the same action, right? And I gave you a ball peen hammer. And the action is the same, isn't it? I said go and hit that tree five times with a ball peen hammer. The answer this time is no. But would the tree. I don't know. But the action looks the same, doesn't it? It's sharp X, i.e., right actions, or. Ball peen hammer looks right, wrong actions. Okay, so we need to be very careful. When I say that you can achieve anything you want if you take action, because action is a doing word, what I'm really saying is it's not about taking action, it's about taking the right action. How do we know it fits the right action? It's called measure your performance. How often I know. How many of us have set those New Year's resolution things? Eh? Yeah, hello. Yeah, oh, no. we, okay. we do. We sit down and we stand there and we go, I am going to lose weight. First of all, we're setting ourselves up for failure because do we want to lose anything? Oh, no. We we designed to keep ourselves safe. And I don't want to lose anything. So I go, I want to lose weight. So my body goes, hell oh, no, you don't. No, no you don't. But, but, but I do, I said it, I mean, I'm standing there, maybe a little tipsy, it's midnight, we're about to kiss each other and sing old Lang Syde stuff, but you've been there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the new year comes, yes, see, the 2nd of January, we're in, no, no, we're in the gym, no, we are, but we're not in the gym that easy, we park for two and a half kilometers in a queue of cars that are on their way to the gym. And we park in this and we and they parking attendants and they guide us and we park. Thank goodness we park really far away from the gym because that's about all the exercise we get. Because we walk and we arrive at the gym. The machines are 15 deep. Everybody is going huge. We are gonna have the best bodies on the beach. And then the 15th of January comes, and we've been so, I mean, we've been good at eh? every day. 15th of January, we drive and we park outside the door. We go in and there's not a single person on those machines. Do you know what I'm talking about? Okay, so what actually happens? Why do we not do this? And why do we get to the end of the year and we go, okay, scale, here I come. And this is ship, not ship. You, not that word you're thinking. <laughs> do you know where that actually came from? Shame. My, my, my daughter's not that. She's 17 now. She's not that innocent anymore. But at one stage she was innocent and I said a naughty word. And so I said to her, um, she said, Mommy, and you said a naughty word. So I went, what did I say? I didn't say anything. I said, what did I say? And I'm thinking, she'll never say. She goes, Mommy, it sounds like ship, but it ends in a T. So, <laughs> so I'm using the word ship. Right? Okay, so here we were and we get on the scale and we look down and we go, oh ship, I haven't lost any weight. In fact, I've put on weight. But think about it. What did I do? I set a goal in December and 12 months passed and I got on the scale again. So I've got a 1 in 12 chance of achieving my goal. First, how about if I decide now and I say, because you've got to be positive when you set a goal, haven't you? So I, I stand there, and I'm wisened up now at my New Year's resolution thing. And I say, how about I look at where I want to be. Instead of saying I want to lose weight, I say, what, is, what do I look like when I weigh my perfect weight? OK? 
uh, 95 kilos. That's 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 when I'm really fighting fit and lean and mean. And so I go instead of saying I want to lose five kilograms, because the body goes, you know, you don't. You go picture the positive. So where do I look exactly like I want to look? Well, 95. So I make a positive statement and I say I come alive at 95. So I picture this lean. You 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 can picture. Okay. Imagine that imagination, you can imagine anything, right? So I can even imagine myself lean and mean and healthy and, and, and that, okay? So you imagine that and you give yourself a positive picture and you go, I come alive at 95, right? So there's a something positive, it's something I want, and I picture a positive picture in my mind. But in order to get to 95, I need to lose, I'm just making it easy, you're probably looking going, yep, he probably does, 12 kilograms, right? So I need to lose 12 kilograms. I stand there and it's, did I say lose? I need to melt. No, no, I need to melt 12 kilograms off this amazing physical body thing. Okay, so here I am and I'm melting this 12 kilos off. But what do I do? I go, okay, so if I need to lose 12 kilos, what is it? It's one kilogram a month. So how about this? At the end of the first month, I measure myself. I do it 12 times. Do you think I've got a 12 times greater chance of losing, did I say losing? Melting. melting, correct, melting that weight off my body. But how about if I break it back and I say, hang on, I'm really sharp. If I break it back and I lose 250 grams a week, so every week I get on that scale, I have now got a 52 times greater chance of achieving my goal than if I measure in the beginning then. But I'm really sharp, I break it back and I say, if I have to lose 250 grams a week, I do the mathematics and I have to lose. 77.5 grams a day every single day. I get on the same thing. I have a 365 times greater chance of achieving my goal. Why? Because I'm able to assess at day one. Am I beating that tree with a ball peen hammer, or am I beating the tree with a sharpened axe? How do I know? Well, I get on the scale. Go. Did I lose 77.473821 grams today? And the scale says, no sir, you put on 77.4378 grams today. What does that effectively mean? I am hitting the tree with a ball peen hammer. So, let me change things. Maybe I need to drink more water, eat less fat, increase the amount of exercise that I'm doing, okay? I need to shake it up, right? So. Whatever it could, could it be my sales target? Hmm. How many of us know what our daily sales target should be? Interesting fact, every single person that I've ever come across, including the one who lied, okay? <laughs> Excluding the one who lied, in fact, sorry, I should say that way. Who knows their daily sales target and measures it daily, assessing is the activity that I'm performing achieving that target, and I get the fact that sometimes your sales may be seasonal, sometimes your sales don't always go, but you've got to be asking the question, am I taking, performing, doing the right activities that's going to allow me to achieve my sales target, allow me to lose 77.4678 grams today? If the answer is no, I ask a question, because remember the quality of your life, the quality of your sales, the quality of your experience is directly related to the quality of your questions. So the more often I ask that question, could it be hourly? Could I hourly be asking myself this question? <coughs> is the way I intend to invest, spend, because could, you could be investing or spending the time, the next hour the most valuable use of my available time? If the answer is no, what do I do? take more value. <laughs> no, I don't take more value. I say, cool, I'm just going to do what I was going to do anyway. But when I get to the next hour, what do I try to do? I try to improve it. And if I can improve like, that much every hour, imagine in 10 years time how I've improved the use of my available time. Because the most important thing we need to remember is Every microsecond of your life, every micro window, this moment that you're spending right now is setting up how your future is going to be. 
So that what you do today is effectively creating what's going to happen in the future.